Morning, Madhavi. Morning, girls and boys. And good morning to everyone and welcome to our confirmation today. It's lovely we have 17 today, which is a great number here from Barra. So I welcome each one of you and your sponsors and your parents and family members and fellow prisoners. It's lovely. So many of you are here today. And of course, Father John Paul, your parish priest, who has helped prepare you and lead you each day towards Jesus. Lida is not far from Jaffa, so when the disciples heard that Peter was there, they sent two men with an urgent message for him. Come and visit us as soon as possible. Peter went back with them straight away, and on his arrival, they took him to the upstairs room, where all the widows stood around him in tears, showing him to mix and other clothing Dorcas had made when she was with them. Peter sent them all out of the room and knelt down in prayed. Then he turned to the dead room and said, Tabitha, stand up. She opened her eyes, looked at Peter and sat up. Peter helped her to her feet. Then he called in the saints and widows and showed them she was alive. The whole of Jaffa heard about him. Many believed in the Lord, the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After hearing his doctrine, many of the followers of Jesus said, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are Spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe and who it was that would betray him. He went on, This is why I told you that no one could come to me unless the Father allows him. After this, many of the disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe, we know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, it was a few weeks ago, as we know, we celebrated Easter Sunday. Put your hand up if you received Easter eggs. Please. Every one of you, put your hands back down. Put your hands up if you liked getting Easter eggs. Every one of you, hands back down. Hands up if you've eaten your Easter eggs. Yeah, we get the message. Okay, so you got your Easter eggs and then you scoffed them, right? You absolutely stuffed their faces. That's the idea because it's like, this is great. This is brilliant out of Easter eggs. What other times of the year do you receive presents? For Easter, you made the decision, I want to eat my eggs. So you ate them all, they were presents to you, and you enjoyed them. But there's also some times when we receive gifts and we decide not to use them for one reason or another. Now, today in our gospel, Jesus is talking to us, he's talking to the people a long time ago, and he's been talking to them all week actually in the Gospels, each day at last we've listened to the story. And at the very end, today is the last part of the story, Jesus has been offering them himself. Today of course you receive, who do you receive today in confirmation? Who comes upon you there? Holy 
Holy Spirit. Because when Jesus offered him the gift of the Holy Spirit, Peter said, yes, I want that gift. I want the gift of life. I want to become like you, Jesus. I want to love like you. And so Peter became more like Jesus because he received and used the gift of the Holy Spirit. God's Holy Spirit comes down upon you, a free gift. And I beg you today to say yes each day to that beautiful gift of God's Spirit. And then you too will be beautiful people just like the saints you decorated church with today. So girls and boys, as you know, you began your journey towards Jesus as part of God's family the day of your baptism. So I think I'd ask you now please to stand, girls and boys, and Father John Paul is going to take a light from the Paschal, from the Easter candle, which reminds us of the resurrection of Jesus, and he will light your own baptism candle. We pray for all the faithful departed. We pray for all whom we have known and loved. Lord, hear us. As we journey is from cloud and tower, go hard to cloud the ha and age. As she a granny can open the collar is on beer, Ushka, and the spastic, a hot high pillar, a hair in the age We pray to, today for Bishop Brown. We pray that God may continue to bless and guide our Bishop in helping us all love and serve. God and his church, especially at this Easter time. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. As the sun in Duna, a half of Ice Anson Hospital, until Easter tears the nurse plays, I was cool guy for a year in a history. As the Gurney of Sun, our teacher and our children, I was our character. I was a whole and doing it a hard tight guys, could you put a rush to it? Let me go look at your son and last audit Jack and Ninja are here in the age to be. Just for a moment in silence now, let's just close our eyes and make our own personal prayer to the Father. God our Father, 
As the Holy Spirit is sent out upon these children, may each day they welcome and use that gift so that in turn they become like the great saints they have picked to be their guides. We ask for the grace for this to happen in the lives of each one of us through Christ our Lord.